Hello everybody, my name is Cosplayer Prime of the Cosplayer Prime channel and this is my quick review of WandaVision. So let me just get straight to it. I liked it. I really liked it, but it is confusing. At some points it, it is really confusing. Like to the point I was like going, what the fuck? And at some points I was just scratching my head wondering what's happening. Um... Let's see, what can I just quickly go to? WandaVision, the name alone is um, like a pun, if you think about it, WandaVision, television. It's basically a pun on television. The first episode, we get in and Wanda Maximoff, aka okay, Scarlet Witch, and formerly known as... Jarvis, now known as Vision, has come into this new place, this new neighborhood, and has just moved in. They have to keep their powers concealed and hidden from everyone else, which I'm no surprise. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Wanda is like a normal housewife, sort of. Vision doesn't eat anything, so it's like, I don't know how they survive there. Then you have Vision going to work at this one place, and I like how they used the Yakety Yak song in the episode, and I just love how Vision jumps as soon as he hears the name Vision, and then <laughs> when something like a name of the the guy goes, I think he said something about him be, being a robot, and he goes, no, of course I wouldn't be a robot, why would I? <laughs> like, that I love. And then on the other side, Wanda and Vision are trying to figure out what's so special about this particular day. And then Vision finds out it's because their boss is going to be having dinner with them with his wife. Now, throughout this whole thing, you do get to meet this one woman named Noisy Neighbor. No, wait, not Noisy. Nosy Neighbor. We don't know who she is. She could be a villain. She could be an agent of a certain, like organization but we'll get to that in a minute the whole episode throughout after that is like st uh, if you guys don't know this the first episodes are basically from the live audience it's a parody of a sitcom from back in those days and it's also a parody of bewitched which makes sense because scarlet witch is magical and you hear them laughing in the background every time wanda tries to cook something or vision is acting like the idiot in the whole place and then the food arrives, eventually Wanda just gets, says, fuck it, here is some breakfast for dinner. They eat, they have their fun, the nosy neighbor is gone, and then something weird happens where Wanda and Vision don't know their story, don't know where they got married, don't know how they met, they can't tell the, the boss and the wife, and so the boss starts getting like, upset starts banging on the on the table and the wife is like it just gets creepy because he starts choking the boss he starts choking and the wife just keeps going and saying stop stop it stop it as if it was like a way of saying to Wanda stop it because she does look at her vision does take the thing out and then voila it's just so weird how that went because afterwards Boss gets up with the wife and just leaves like nothing just happened. So it does it is it does get confusing. The episode ends on a happy note, except for one thing. There was um a, a commercial at the middle part of it, which by the way, these two episodes do have commercials. I'm expecting other episodes to do that. There's a commercial in the first one about a toaster, and if you listen carefully, the toaster starts going beep. Beep, 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 which I'm pretty sure is a way of referencing that, hey, do you remember back in Age of Ultron, where Wanda and, no, Petro, aka Wanda's dead, deceased brother, says how a missile came flying in, and they were stuck under the bed, the parents died, and because of Tony Stark's arc's name being on it, on Stark Industries, the thing, they were waiting for it to start exploding to kill them, and never went off, and all they heard was beep, beep, beep. And the fact that the toaster was 
made by Stark Industries made it even w more creepier. And then at the end of the episode, you get to see this guy, which by the way is Sword. We are finally seeing Sword, which is basically a new organization of Shield. Sword and Shield, get it? Because Shield's gone, and now we have Sword. Then in episode two, we have Vision and Wanda coming in to do this magic show for the kids. Which, if you listen carefully, the way they say "for the children," it sounds like a cult. Which, um, let's just be real here for a second. I'm pretty sure, from what I've heard, that Mephisto, the devil of the MCU, is coming because the Wanda Vision connects to Doctor Strange and to Multiverse Verse of Madness. Which also connects with Spider-Man 3 that's going to be coming soon. So I think it's WandaVision, Spider-Man 3, and Doctor Strange. And then, yeah, Mephisto might be coming. Because in the second episode, as they're doing all this magic trick, X, uh, Vision goes out to go see the neighborhood watch. He eats a piece of gum. It gets stuck in his, like, medical circuits. Because I think medical circuits, mechanical circuits... The things, the cogwheels, it gets stuck in there, and he's just acting like a high or drunk man. And I get on stage, do this whole thing, and there is a certain scene, in, scene a couple of scenes in here. One, where because at the beginning of the episode, they thought that it, someone was by the window because they're banging on the window. It was just a tree, but then Wanda goes out after Vision leaves and finds out it was a helicopter. But what's creepy is because these two episodes are basically black and white, she picks it up and the damn thing is colored red. It's red. It's not black and white like anything else. It's red. And if you look very closely, you can clearly see the logo of Sword on the side, which is, first of all, what the fuck? That's all I could say throughout this is what the hell is going on? And then the nosy neighbor pops up. Oh my god, it's just so confusing. And there's theories going around that because she's made this whole thing up, because that's what she is doing, she's making this all up in her head, because what Vision is still dead, um, comes in, the theory suggests that the agents of S.W.O.R.D. are coming in to try and take her out, but because she won't let that happen, they're getting stuck inside her mind, or whatever this place is. And if you listen at a certain spot. Of the dam. Where Wanda and the other women are together. And the one blonde chick is like looking at her. It's like telling her. Who are you? What do you want? If you listen carefully. You hear, you hear this son of a bitch on this radio going. Wanda. Who's doing this to you? Wanda. And then that thing like sort of. Like breaks I think if I remember correctly. The one woman breaks and then the blood just comes out. It's not black and white. It's red. It's still red. Like, I don't know what's going on. But it is creepy. We do get, of course, another commercial in the middle of the second episode. Where it's these two exact same people from the last one. Except this time they're talking about a watch. Now... If you watch closely, like really closely, like if you go and watch this now, pause it, go watch the episode, go to that commercial, just skip a bit and then stop, you'll see that, like if you zoom in on the watch of the logo watch, you see Hydra. Hydra, okay? Hydra is on the watch, which is, I don't know if that's a foreshadow to anything, I'm surprised Hydra is still living a thing. But yeah, eventually Vision gets back to normal because of Wanda fixed him. They somehow win in an award even though they didn't do everything right. Which, first of all, that's like weird in itself as well. Because how do they win even though they didn't do everything as properly as they should have. But then you remember that this is in her head. Anything in her head goes correctly. Which I'm, I was hoping that that Pedro could be in this somehow, but I don't know. And then they get home, they start to settle down, and then you realize, oh shit, she's pregnant. 
And then out of nowhere, just out of fucking nowhere, the, st the banging just comes out. The, fuck's it? the banging just comes out again. Vision gets annoyed, saying if it's the damn tree, he's going to rip it out of its roots. He goes out, and then they both look at the street. The sewer thing pops out, and then this dude with a B. Oh my god, this is so creepy. It was creepy in itself because he walks out, B costume, and B's flying everywhere. He does a slow turn to look at them. Wanda, Wanda just says no and reverses time, which I don't even know she could have been reverse time in itself, but hey, this is in her head. She can do whatever she wants. And then it's back to happy go lucky. The black and white turns into color again, and then it's all fine. So, uh, basically, it's confusing as all hell. We don't know what's going on. What is Wanda up to? Who's doing this to her? Is Mephisto an actual character that's coming in? Is, like, the sword trying to get them her out? Are they trying to keep her in? Are they trying to get inside her head? And it's just like you have... There's so many questions that you have to try and figure out. And I don't think it's a good idea for so many questions, but that's the reason I'm starting to like the show so far. I cannot wait for the third episode on Friday because it's going to be another interesting thing to watch. Overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. I loved it. It was confusing. I recommend you go watch it for those who don't like black and white or sitcoms or anything like that. I suggest you don't watch it because you're just going to think it's boring. And you just don't like different things, I guess. I don't know. I personally love that Marvel is going is like starting to do different things now. And I'm glad that this is the start of Phase 4. And one thing I have to mention before I go off. If you go and look at the casting, which I'm not sure if this is true or not. Ultron is... James Spader as Ultron is in the casting. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Hey, what, whatever. This has been Cosplay Prime with the Cosplay Prime channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!